Hello and welcome to Homebase Learning Institute's training for the day. Today I'm going to go over a simple software used to create a sitemap on your website. There are two main functions of a sitemap. One is to kind of create a blueprint for your website for users that come there and try and find things deeper in the site without wanting to spend a bunch of time clicking around. And two, you need a sitemap because crawlers are able to visit every single one of your pages and be able to rank your site accordingly. So since we can't go through the process of creating a, a HTML sitemap for every web builder, we're going to do a Joomla.org uh, content management system today. And we're going to get the sitemap software from a location called http colon forward slash forward slash extensions dot joomla dot org forward slash extensions forward slash structure hyphen a hyphen navigation forward slash site hyphen map forward slash three zero six six or if you just search joomla site map this should come up and it's a free software that you can download uh, that'll take you directly to their site and there's lots of different uh, versions of this sitemap that have come out for 1.5, 1.0, or 1.6. Uh, we're going to take the 1.5 one. Uh, so to get it, you would just click on the appropriate version, uh, click on the Files tab, click on this one is com underscore xmap hyphen 1.2.zip. Once you download that, you're going to go to the back end of your site and you're going to go to the install page underneath extensions and then install forward slash uninstall and then we're going to browse for it in the downloads and we're going to find com underscore xmap dot 1.2 hopefully this installs easy uh, sometimes you may have to FTP software like this but it looks like it installed just fine so right away we can see that that worked and so we can now mouse over components and see an element down at the bottom called XMAP. And when I click on XMAP, it's going to take me to the interface for this software. And it says add a sitemap. And we have the option to pick certain menus for it. We can also go and set different preferences for it and find out literally what the XML sitemap uh, is for this particular software and this is something very critical because you would supply this to your uh, webmaster for Google webmaster Yahoo uh, or Bing you could supply this uh, XMAP and it would help all your all your sites uh, files get crawled right away uh, instead of generating a free one from elsewhere so we highly recommend that you uh, take advantage of this software and uh, be able to utilize it in your site. And here's how it would look. Here's just a default site. Hang on, I might need to turn it on real quick. To turn on your sitemap, you would go to Menus, Main Menu. You would find your sitemap. Make sure it's in the top menu and make sure that you change the type to the appropriate file and here we're going to make it an XMAP file because that's what is producing our sitemap. So there I made it an XMAP, uh, select right here if you want to change any of the parameters it's, it's uh, pretty simple you just go in and type whatever parameter you want hit save so there it is it is a X map so let's go to the home page and let's see if it works there you go Sitemap should work just like that, uh, producing navigation for uh, your primary menu navigation. So here I have forum, home, sitemap, article, and store, and uh, 
you can add more primary navigation or you can reset a different uh, menu for XMAP right in uh, right in the uh, f in the location in the components you can have it default to a completely different uh, menu altogether if you have multiple menus active uh, but right now I just have the uh, menu active so if I wanted to add a menu I can certainly add a menu uh, or or not so give it a try and I think you'll you'll be pleased if you have more questions come at, visit us at www.homebaseli.com or give us a call at 1-800-539-1278